Hello pool owners, the V-Link wireless interface is the perfect companion for your V-Green 165 pool pump motor. The V-Link is used to program and control your motor through a mobile device. It also allows you to quickly view power consumption and operational costs, as well as projected monthly savings. In this video, we'll cover the hardware installation of the V-Link to your V-Green 165 motor. Let's take a look. All right, so we got the V-Green installed. Uh, next thing, we're gonna install the uh, Century V-Link, the wireless motor interface. So we're just gonna unbox it, take a look at it. Um, basically, it comes with everything you'll need to install it, minus the tools. Um, just take a look here, you got your user manual, got the actual V-Link. And then you have all the, uh, the cables and the connectors that you'll need. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the conduit adapter and feed the cable through. And then we're going to put the, uh, the conduit adapter into the back of the motor. All right, the next step is going to be installing one of these RS-485 connectors. Uh, you, you might already have one on there. Some new motors come with it, but uh, if not, it comes with two. So we'll just pop this right here. All right, so now we're going to connect our communication cable, also a low voltage line, to our uh, RS-485 connector. And uh, if you're looking at this, uh, it's one, two, three, four. That's going to be red, white, green, black. All right. All right, and to complete the uh, motor end connection, you'll want to make sure that dip switch one is on. Now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the, the cover here. Okay, so this is the opposite side of the uh, communication cable that was already connected to the motor. Uh, we're going to connect it to an RS-45 connector that's going to go in the V-Link. And again, from left to right, that's one, two, three, four. And so that'll be uh, red, white, green, black. So we'll go ahead and get, make those connections. All right, so before we mount the V-Link to the wall, we want to make sure the Wi-Fi uh, is reaching out here. Uh, so you're going to want to look for your Wi-Fi network with your phone. And it uh, looks good out here. We've got two bars, so it, it's going to be okay to mount it right on this wall. All right, so the, the mounting plate for the V-Link is already on the V-Link out of the box, so you just pop it off. And it's got two holes there. And so we'll, we'll mark a couple holes and then drill and attach that plate. All right, so here's the plate. Uh, you'll see it says up um, on it, so you want to make sure that that's obviously facing up. Then we'll take a little pencil um, and mark the two holes when uh, the little level is as close as possible. All right, we're going to pop off the bottom cover here so we can connect our RS-485. Here's the RS-485 connector. We're just going to pop this on the prongs. All right, so you see the we got power, and uh, the Wi-Fi uh, connect symbol is blinking, so it means we're, we should be ready to go.
That covers the VLink wireless interface hardware installation. Check out the links in the description to watch our video on how to set up and program your VLink using the mobile device app. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and don't forget to visit us over at annualpools.com for all your swimming pool needs.